For a student like you, distance learning posts many challenges. Learning all by yourself in this time of pandemic is not easy. But cheer up, young minds, for your learning buddies are here to make learning outcomes rewarding for you. Dare to discover, learn, and be more competent as we sail together in the world of education. Join us in refining your skills to reach your full potentials as a learner here at Learning Today. What's your learning today? Aha! Monitor your learning today. Good morning, Senior High School learners. Welcome to Flambo Radio 99.9 MHz and live simulcast via Facebook for the program Learning Today, where learning episodes will be served for all the 21st century learners out there. Join me. I am Miss Michelle, your radio teacher in trends, networks, and critical thinking skills in the 21st century. In today's lesson, our learning targets are to differentiate a trend from a fad, explain the process on how to spot a trend, and point out the elements that make up a trend. That's a lot to take in, but don't worry, we'll just simplify the lesson. Before we start, you're expected to bring with you your learning activity sheet or module, pen, and other learning materials you need for the entire duration of our radio broadcast instruction. All right, now let's start. As our first task, let's play a guessing game. Send me your answers by a chat box later. I will flash five pictures on the screen, then identify them whether they are a trend or a fad. Here they are. Do you see them now? Good. The first picture is K-12 program. Second is telemedicine. Third picture is blended learning. Fourth picture is Facebook avatars. And the last and fifth picture is loom bands. Send your answers now, class. Let's see. How fair you did! Pictures 1, 2, and 3, which are K-12 program, telemedicine, and blended learning are samples of trends. While pictures 3 and 4, which are Facebook avatars and loom bands, are fads. We'll explain why they are trends and fads after this break. Have you finished your modules yet, Jenny? I am trying to complete my EAPP module, Mom. I noticed that part of my module in all my subjects is a presence of reflection. My advisor always reminds me, though, to accomplish it no matter what. Why is that? Jenny, reflection is a powerful tool to have better learning experiences. Really, Mom? How? Doing reflection in learning is a way of allowing learners like you to step back from your learning experience, helping you to develop critical thinking skills and improve on future performance by analyzing what you have learned and how far have you reached. So, Mom, when I reflect on my learning experiences, I am given the opportunity to share my accomplishments struggles and moments of confusion and that makes me more directed what to do next because i know my personal strengths and i am aware of what to focus on with my learning in that way my teachers will also know of the things their students need more in instruction you got it jenny wow not just that mom i realize that doing reflection means I am in charge of my learning and that makes me getting better each day as a student. That's my girl. A friendly reminder from the Department of Education and this station. 
We are back! Still here at 99.9 Flambo Radio in the program Learning Today. Now back to business. Generally, fads and trends are perceptible changes in behaviors that can be seen or felt among a large section of a population with the behavior being followed with enthusiasm for some time. Their distinction? They differ from their characteristics. Let's take trends. A trend is a recurrent phenomenon that takes place over time that gives rise to speculation of the future. Further, a trend is a gradual pattern of change in a condition, output, process, or behavior that develops into something and has broad implications in all aspects of society, which lasts for a very long time or which becomes permanent. Just like in the cases of K-12, telemedicine, and blended learning, which we have known to be part of our lives even then and now, and even before the pandemic has stricken us. Agree? Nice. In contrast, a fad is an intense and widely shared enthusiasm for some time, especially short-lived, just like in the case of Lumbands and Facebook Avatar. We go crazy for these fads for some time, then they disappear quickly. Right. In your module, tasks are there for you to master the competencies. Do the activities 1, 2, 3, and 4 where answers have been provided for your guidance. These should help you understand the lesson better. Now for activity 5, which is to create a slogan about your fitness fad, or your routine to stay fit this pandemic that I'm interested to see as your output. After you have done it, get a photo of your slogan and set it in your classwork via our Google Classroom for me to check. Now, we come to how trend spotting is being done. Trend spotting is the study of trends, the way they are developed, and their effects to the society. It is attempting to look at the future through the lens of the present time. Trend spotting is a valued skill for you and I. If we can acquire this skill, we can plan ahead for the future because it helps us generate informed decisions. How then is trend spotting done? It begins with environmental scanning. This is done by engaging the process of collecting information. When we seek out current opinions and look and listen to current ideas and practices happening around us, we do the so-called environmental scanning. Next step on how to spot a trend is analyzing the environment. We do this by looking for distant objects or signals that give early warning changes in the environment. Finally, we evaluate the trend significance. Here, we weigh the evidences gathered whether a certain product, idea, or practice is bound to become a trend. Did you get that class? I hope you did. Let's continue. Now let's illustrate the process how trend spotting is done using this example. Let's consider the trend in the possible use of solar energy. What do you think? If we look back and check on the historical evolution on the usage of energy sources, it all started from the use of wood to coal to gas to oil and the possible shift in the use of solar energy which at present is starting to get known in the society and in no time will become a trend. Another example is the increasing access to internet and mobile subscriptions. 
A study in 2018 reveals the increasing usage of internet with a growth trajectory of 63% or 107 million Filipinos use the internet and 61 million Filipinos use mobile subscriptions. These evidences are a strong indication in the massive use of internet and mobile subscriptions evolving as a trend. Now, for mastery practice on this, work on with activities 1, 2, 3, and 4. The activity 5 is an exciting task for you because you will experience the process of trend spotting of an emerging trend in the country. Do this. After, send your output in your classwork via Google Classroom. There. Can you still catch up? I know you can. If you have questions, drop them in the comment box so you'll be enlightened. Comments and reactions are also welcome. Before we go further, let's pause for this break. Have you finished your modules yet, Jenny? I am trying to complete my EAPP module, Mom. I noticed that part of my module in all my subjects is a presence of reflection. My advisor always reminds me, though, to accomplish it no matter what. Why is that? Jenny, reflection is a powerful tool to have better learning experiences. Really, Mom? How? Doing reflection in learning is a way of allowing learners like you to step back from your learning experience helping you to develop critical thinking skills and improve on future performance by analyzing what you have learned and how far have you reached. So, Mom, when I reflect on my learning experiences, I am given the opportunity to share my accomplishments, struggles, and moments of confusion, and that makes me more directed what to do next because I know my personal strengths and I am aware of what to focus on with my learning. In that way, my teachers will also know of the things their students need more in instruction. You got it, Jenny. Wow, not just that, Mom. I realize that doing reflection means I am in charge of my learning and that makes me getting better each day as a student. That's my girl. A friendly reminder from the Department of Education and this station. Welcome back, learners. This time, let's point out the elements or components of trends. There are five, and these are number of participants, pattern of behavior, length of time, cause, and consequence. Let's find out each one of them. The first element is the number of participants. An individual started a trend, and as time goes by, the number of people who followed becomes bigger. Let's take vlogging that is a blog that contains video material. You've probably never heard the name Jod Karim, a YouTube co-founder who uploaded his first vlog clip in April 2005. And then a strong increase in popularity of vlogging began until today. I bet you have also done yours. The next element of trends is pattern of behavior. A trend is a form of repetitive actions of people. For example, the simple act of taking a selfie has now become a cultural trend. Now we come to length of time as the element or component of trends. A trend has long time frame, sometimes running for decades. For example, see how phones have been developing through time, from telephones to wireless to Android to smartphones, and let's just wait for what's up next. Moving on to the next element of trends, which is cause. A trend has a starting point, which can be an idea, technology, event, or person. Let's take women empowerment as an example for this. Half of the humanity ago, women are only confined to household duties. 
Thus, they are deprived of education, career, political stance, and so many others. But the Declaration of the United Nations Charter in 1945, stressing the principal equality for men and women, is considered as the legal step in the journey of women's empowerment at the global level. The fifth component or element of a trend is called consequence. A trend makes considerable consequence or impact. Let's take this example. Social media networking has become an encompassing trend that tends to influence the behaviors of online users. In effect, people could air their opinions on different matters and say almost anything instantly. Questions and reactions regarding the elements or components of trends let me know class. Drop them in our chat box and after this snappy break, I will read them. Stay tuned! Have you finished your modules yet, Jenny? I am trying to complete my EAPP module, Mom. I noticed that part of my module in all my subjects is a presence of reflection. My advisor always reminds me though to accomplish it no matter what. Why is that? Jenny, reflection is a powerful tool to have better learning experiences. Really, Mom? How? Doing reflection in learning is a way of allowing learners like you to step back from your learning experience, helping you to develop critical thinking skills and improve on future performance by analyzing what you have learned and how far have you reached. So, Mom, when I reflect on my learning experiences, I am given the opportunity to share my accomplishments, struggles, and moments of confusion, and that makes me more directed what to do next because I know my personal strengths and I am aware of what to focus on with my learning. In that way, my teachers will also know of the things their students need more in instruction. You got it, Jenny. Wow, not just that, Mom. I realize that doing reflection means I am in charge of my learning and that makes me getting better each day as a student. That's my girl. A friendly reminder from the Department of Education and this station. You're still listening to 99.9 Flambo Radio with Simulcast via Facebook Live. With you is Miss Michelle, your radio teacher in the subject TNCT in the program Learning Today. Now, in your module, there are exciting activities for you to do. I like to highlight activity 3, looking into the elements of trends as your required output. The article is very informative and enlightening about face mask, which is very relevant to this day. Find time to read it, then answer the questions that follow. Besides this, do the activity 5. Write your thoughts. I know it's essay time. Choose your topic, then write a minimum of 100-word article. Discuss the elements that make up a trend related to the topic you have chosen. Again, activities are expected to be submitted in your classwork via Google Classroom. Are my instructions clear? Good. Then I guess it's now time to wrap up our discussion today. What have we gained in our learning quest? We learned the difference between trends and fads. In addition, we also gained information on how trend spotting is done. Further, we came across the elements of trends. As our key takeaways, Remember that trends and fads are both essential to keep updated with a changing environment. Awareness to these is the key. Knowing them will help us generate informed decisions that are beneficial for us and the community. So think critically. Don't forget to accomplish the reflection in your module. Congratulations for having reached this far. Kudos for your accomplishment today. For now, that concludes our session, Senior High School Learners. I hope you enjoyed our time together. 
while learning new things in our subject. It has been a productive learning with you. I am Miss Michelle at your service in education. Talk to you next time under the same schedule that's every Wednesday of the week at 9 to 10 in the morning. Bye for now. Stay tuned for more lessons here at Learning Today. For a student like you, distance learning posts many challenges. Learning all by yourself in this time of pandemic is not easy. But cheer up, young minds, for your learning buddies are here to make learning outcomes rewarding for you. Dare to discover, learn, and be more competent as we sail together in the world of education. Join us in refining your skills to reach your full potentials as a learner here at Learning Today. What's your learning today? Aha! Monitor your learning today!